Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're out here in the implement selection. Uh, we've got three six foot implements here. We have a rear grader blade that's a six foot. We have the six foot box blade and a six foot grading scraper. These three implements, uh, one of them is going to fit your needs. And there's differences and unique features of each one that allow you to do different things with advantages and disadvantages. And that's what we're here to talk about. These are the three, three of the most common implements we sell with a tractor. A rear blade of some type to do different works and different applications on your operation. The first one we're gonna do, talk about, is the rear grader blade and today's feature performer is the 5006 it's the 50 series rear grader blade from rhino ag um, they make different series they make a 35 here and we've got a 70 series over there but these three are all the same physical size what we want to talk about is what are the advantages of a rear grader blade well the number one simple thing of a rear grader blade is the ability to change uh, the way the blade works one of them is tilting the blade tilting the blade is going to tilt it left and right you know dig this side dig this side down raise that side up or vice versa and that is going to be done by this adjustment lever right here the next thing is being able to take that blade and turn it forward or re rearward. That is done by this adjustment. It's a simple pin adjustment. That allows you to pull material, uh, cut ditches. This way is going to tilt the blade to cut a ditch to crown the road. This way is going to help pull material up. The third main feature of a rear grader blade is offset offset on this one is done by this pin position here which is going to allow the blade to move to the side of the tractor to the right or to the left what that allows you to do is keep the tractor up on the road and get it out the side to do that ditch that is the big feature number one feature of a rear grader blade is allowing you to adjust it quickly by pins now some greater blades are offset, you may have to loosen bolts and go side to side, but on the 50 series here and on up is a quick change, uh, toolless quick change adjustment. The biggest thing with a, with a greater blade is the ability to move material from the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side. That's done by your pivot of your blade so you swing this forward and you're going to swing that edge back and then you're going to go down and it's going to pull material from the right to the left or from the left to the right depending on where you have it pivoted here as far as the direction of the blade here that is probably the, the second biggest feature the other thing is this is the best blade best tool to cut a ditch if you're trying to clean out ditches um, by using the tilt function here you can tilt that blade down where it goes down in the ditch tilt it forward and it's going to clean that ditch out and pull the material up and to the left or to the right depending on which way you tilt it so that is the three really big positives of this plus we'll throw in a three and a half is the offset position offset allows you to do work to the right or to the left of the tractor without having to drive in that area so those are your three big things the quick change thing with the offset pivot and tilt the big disadvantages everybody loves to hear advantages and nobody wants to tell you about disadvantages i'm going to tell you this tool is probably more suited for an advanced user of tractors if you're new to tractors this tool you can make mistakes really quick you can gouge you can make gouges and humps and 
you can really turn a great road into a bad road in a, in a quick hurry but there's things that will help you like as we've got here we've got skid shoes those skid shoes limit how far down the blade goes so you can't gouge as much that is one of the things that helps on this blade the the maintain the height of the blade is a little more precise takes a little more experience to use it once you get onto it it's not hard to do but the disadvantage this is a more advanced user tool versus the simplicity of the other tools that i'm going to show you next we're going to jump over here to this 7007 because it's got an added feature for the next next disadvantage most greater blades don't hold material the material can slide right off the end out here and trickle around and it doesn't maintain it now there is a feature that allows you to do it it's called end plates end plates bolt on and it gives you the ability to hold more material in the moldboard area of the of the greater blade so for the two disadvantages that i've come up with their solutions to resolve those problems and make it easier for the novice operator the next feature is the box blade and man there is a multitude of different box blades out there qualities constructions and different things like that but today we've got the sbx 72 from rhino this is a seven foot this is a what we call our medium duty but compared to a lot of it in the industry it's a heavy duty or extra heavy duty blade the big advantage of a box blade is this big area here it's going to hold a lot of material with that and this area right here so as you're coming across the off the lot you can cut high spots and move that material and fill in low spots your dips your potholes that is going to be the big advantage of a box blade in the forward position the biggest thing is ease of use you basically drop this thing on the ground you adjust your top link so if you cut forward it's going to use allow this this box the the back edge if you tilt it forward here where the shorten the top link it's going to cut more with this greater blade here if you lengthen the top link it's going to cut more here or use this as your skid guide as you're pulling forward and it'll go across the ground so top link adjustment is your main adjustment to control the pitch and angle it also controls the pitch and angle of your scarifier teeth that are also adjustable by removing these pins and moving this this shank up and down the scarifiers help break the soil up so that you got material to move works great for gravel roads works great for for land uh, land leveling and that type of stuff too uh, it worked the third feature of this is ability to work push from the rear or pull from the front you have greater blades on both sides so it's a bi-directional tool now the biggest problem is angling left to right if you want to keep a crown in a road your crown in your road so the water runs off you're going to have to adjust your three-point hitch levels on your tractor your gauge and slip over here real quick this is your top link that's going to control your cut angle but if you want to do left to right you're going to have to adjust the length of this rod to either tilt it to the right or to the left to keep to do any crowning in your road that's probably the second biggest disadvantage of a box blade is you're going to have to get off the tractor to adjust your top link or your angle or you'll have to invest in a top and tilt cylinder kit which are optional available from third parties and then you're going to have to have hydraulics on your tractor our third and final tool is the grading scraper and today we have the gs72 from rhino ag this is a six foot grading scraper um the probably the number one thing of this is ease of use this is the easiest tool to use for road regeneration land leveling 
of all of them. Got big long skid shoe here down the down the side. You've got scarifier teeth, and you have a double grater blade set up in here. What it does is it pulls material in, moves it to that end, and then it trickles over, and this one levels out too. So it fluffs the material. It makes it easier to level material due to the design. It's easy to use. All you have to do is drop your, set your top link to level and go drive a tractor. Pretty simple. Um, the, the next thing is the blade angle. The second most feature of this is your blade angle. And you can see these blades are offset closer to the right farther away to the back on the left hand side this is going to pull material from the right to the left to fill in those chug holes to keep the crown in the road as before it bubbles over it's going to move material first before it comes up and over pretty simple easy design easy to use makes it makes the most novice person look like a master road builder or land leveler out there one of the other great things that this thing does is by the angled blade we slip down in here is that material comes up and lifts up and over and it'll fluff the rock and put the rock up on top and your fines down on the bottom great for rejuvenating your driveway puts the rock up on top versus as you can see out there it's kind of packed in right now it could use a good grading scraper but it'll fluff all that rock up where you got your rock back up on top here versus push down in the fines and the mud and the dirt and that type of stuff so that is the third feature of the grading scraper the biggest disadvantage of this it's a one directional tool you're going to pull it forward uh, it's not designed to go backwards to do any work in the rear position so you're only one way where the box blade you've got the double blade and a greater, greater blade you can actually swing it all the way around and push backwards with it too so forgot to mention that on a greater blade but it works forward or rearward the other thing is you're not moving material with this you move a little bit left to right or uh, from right to left but you're not going to carry large volumes from one area to the other where the box blade with its big open design and even a greater blade with the flat design you've got a big moldboard frontwards or rearward operation to carry to pull material forward or push it backwards in the back position so that is the basic differences between a greater blade a box blade and a grading scraper um, all three work wonderful I've had customers that purchase all three a greater blade a box blade and a grading scraper I've had customers buy two of the three and I've had customers that buy one and it works fine for them it's three different tools with three different options and three different choices to do jobs easier faster and better for you maybe all you need is a is a rear grader blade or a box blade is probably one of the more popular first choice tools but you can add step up to adding a grading scraper or adding a rear grader blade uh, they can be all purchased at one time save a little money with Varnberg implements custom package deal or you can buy them individually over the life and you may not even need all three you may not have a lot of roads so or a lot of land that you need to level out so a grading scraper may be a choice that's not needed for you the good part is rhino ag builds the same heavy duty quality in all three blades gives you the choices to make the best choice for you and at varnberg implement that's why we're here is bring us your needs the projects that you want to do and we can help determine which tools are the best for you um, Thank you for tuning in to another informational series video. I hope that helped you learn the differences between why a greater blade is better. Probably the number one thing is ditch building. Uh, the ability to offset, pivot, tilt, and 
uh, of the blade the quick change is going to be the best reason for a rear grader blade moving large volumes of material uh, as a box blade ease of use and if you've got a lot of road maintenance gravel roads parking lots the grading scraper is probably your best choice or land leveling like leveling the ground around a new house you can tilt this a little bit to smooth out and make slopes and stuff but it's not going to be as simple and easy as our grader blade i hope that helped you learn about the differences and why one is better than the other to help you make the most informed decision to spend your hard-earned dollars we're not here to make you buy all three at the same time we want you to buy the right tools and spend the right your money on the ones that are the best investment for you if you're in west central missouri come visit us at varnberg implement we're located right here at the first stoplight in hickensville missouri on the south side this is missouri 13 and that is business 13 on fairground avenue we're just four short miles north of interstate 70 which is about 35 minutes just east of the sports complex where the kansas city royals and the kansas city chiefs play just outside of kansas city missouri we sell rhino ag implements cutters finish mowers blades and more and massey ferguson tractors so come visit us or visit your local rhino ag dealer and get the best tools to meet your needs grader blade box blade or grading scraper all available from Rhino Egg.